may I say, most welcome guests. How are you this evening? Great. 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 That's a good start from the language value session because everyone is so attentive. I felt like I was in a club rather than a Toastmaster meeting. Therefore, I will start from the good usages being used this evening. Let me ask you, how many hours do you need to sharpen your act if you had nine hours to chop the trees? Yeah, great. Benjamin Franklin said, if he had nine hours to chop the tree, he would spend six hours to sharpen the axe. Not axe. <laughs> I urge you to redefine yourself on who you are rather than what you did. What's the meaning of one's existence in the world? And the relevance between the world and humanity? Dear NTU Toastmaster, please, please follow your heart. Pursue excellence and success will follow. But if you study social science, you will die of hunger. <laughs> <laughs> millions of bonuses. Millions of bonuses. This were all the good usage used by the speakers, table coffee speakers, everyone today. If you combine it together, actually it makes some really good sense. And the bonuses of the language evaluation session tonight will, will be the vocabulary and grammar part. Can anyone tell me what the festival is again? Why? Okay, the, the other one's coming next week. Tom's. Okay, I've heard many people say Tom sweep, sweeping instead of Tomb sweeping. Oh, Tomb. That's something maybe you can try next time. Tomb, then Tom. Tom is the person. He's <laughs> <laughs> Tom. Tom. <laughs> Tom will get really angry. <laughs> and the next one is do you say facial express? Facial express could be something really tricky. Or facial expression. Facial expert would be winking like this. <laughs> and facial expression would be like, yeah, like this. There's a difference between the two, and when you want to use the two, try to distinguish between them. Then, something very interesting from our timer. Do you have 30 seconds or 30 seconds? Sir. Are your seconds 30? <laughs> 30. <laughs> so sometimes Sir. maybe it sounds very, very similar, but the D sound and the TH sound actually are very different. So when you're nervous, don't worry, just try to pronounce it. Otherwise, maybe your foreign friend sounds like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're 30. Oh, you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> so on the birthday party of your friend on 30, please don't say, oh, you're 30. <laughs> he will be very offended by that. <laughs> and some pronunciation immediately and dramatically. You just need to separate, separate the syllables one by one, then you will hear the sound properly. And one very simple verb and noun form. To rehearse is a verb, and a rehearsal is a noun. You don't say to rehearsal, then you will use the noun for the verb, then you sound kind of strange, like, oh, you are beauty. That that's also work, doesn't it? Okay. So now it goes to grammar part. Usually, we have three kind of problems in our Toastmaster meetings, and no exceptions here, like singular and plural. I often hear people say, she appreciates and she thinks. What do you think you should be saying instead? She appreciates, she thinks. Yes, the little s can make the magic, or make the, your grade higher. <laughs> then, the article part. For the introduction, for a introduction, and for introduction, they all mean different things. When you use the, that means the specific introduction. When you use a introduction, that just means one introduction. When you use for introduction, that means you are delivering an introduction. People often use the wrong mixture between these three. So if you make some note to it, you will get the head of it. The last part is people always try to make the problems with is past and present tense. Often people say, I do yesterday, in, when you should be saying, I did something yesterday. And people say, I cannot do something yesterday, when you should be saying, I couldn't do something yesterday. Or I choose a wrong present last week, when you should be saying, I have chosen or I choose. It is very easy. You all know you pass your high school, university test. It's very easy, but when you are speaking it, it's actually requiring a much, much faster reaction rate. Therefore, try to practice more. Then your grammar will be perfect, even better than me and Bird. 
Okay, coming to the technique part. Well, we had a C1, C2, C3, C5. And I recognize one thing very distinctly among all the speakers, that is composure. From Eddie, you all look like professional TV presenters. You are not afraid of anything. Even though it's only C1 icebreaker, you're just like, hello everybody, hi Steve, talk to me. You don't need to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> like that, you have the confidence. Even though Eddie say, oh, I don't think I'm confident. But the confidence show itself towards all the audience, even for C1, C2, C3. But, however, I think you all lack something in return, that is uh, content and organization. Even though you are very familiar and natural in front of the audience, but sometimes you don't really realize that what you are talking about or have the right order of the structure. So audience sometimes get lost, even though you are performing. They watch your performance, but without understanding your performance. That's something maybe you could work on, the content and organization. And for Cicel, also great composure. But, Cicel's here? Oh, not here, but still, I think Cicel could use more body language. Stretch your body, use it somehow. And pose when the audience look tired. Because, yeah, so enthusiastic, look at me, listen to me. People <laughs> tend to get too stimulated. They need some break to actually understand what you say. So for C5, maybe you want to take a rest and take it slow and smile. And people will think, yeah, I understood what you meant. And the last part, the evaluation part, actually we have guidelines for every single project. The C1 is icebreaker. It is to identify your strength and improve your weaknesses and to stay in front of the audience for the first time. C2 is to organize the speech, then you will have the opening, body, and conclusion, very clearly. C3, get to the point. What is the emphasis? What is important? What do you want to say? Put the money on the bed. That's C3. And C5 is not dancing in the ballet or kung fu or something else. <laughs> it is use your body to talk, like wink at some girls you like, or come here. <laughs> you could do that and practice. It's actually very useful in daily life because sometimes you don't want to say something to a girl, you just, hey. Please <laughs> 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 preach to me. I think NTU Toastmaster is setting the standards for all the Toastmasters in Taipei City. Be rejoiced that Joyce is here and be proud. Thank you, Toastmaster. <laughs> 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 <laughs>